Hello everyone, uh, this is Stephanie. I uh, wanted to come on here and talk to you guys a bit about myself and I uh, wanted to talk about uh, things I wish I would have gone by as a younger me uh, or to give this as advice for younger women so we don't make the same mistakes twice. <laughs> And uh, the first thing is we got to love ourselves. We got to accept ourselves the way we are, embrace ourselves, uh, get, get to know ourselves truly. And if you find something that you don't like within yourself, then that just means you need to make a change. And there, that just means that there's room for improvement. And that's a good thing. Uh, so don't push yourself down about it. Just Try to make that change however it is that you feel that you need to or that you can. At the end of the day, you can only be you. You got to be comfortable in your own skin. Um, and then another uh, point I wanted to make is elegant and classy women, they're modest. They're feminine. They're graceful. Uh, and by modesty, I mean the way we dress be aware of our appearance. Trust me, I've been very extra in my past. Uh, that has changed because I no longer want to attract people for the wrong reasons. I don't want people to notice me because I'm half naked. I don't want uh, attraction that is just for lust. Because at the same time, you attract the wrong people. The people that are going to be attracted to you due to lust are not relationship material. So I realized that one day I don't want to attract the wrong people. I don't have to show my body to everybody. Everybody doesn't get that privilege. I am a firm believer in God and I believe that our body is our temple. So that is something very sacred that I would not want to give to everybody. Uh, so to me, modesty has a lot to do with how you dress, um, makeup. I don't think makeup is a problem. I just don't think we should overdo it because then we don't look classy. And um, femininity is also another thing that I think it identifies us women. Uh, we are nurturing creatures, we're emotional, we're gentle, we're compassionate. And I particularly find that very beautiful because someday we're going to use that or put that to good use when we become mothers. Uh, and that is going to be amazing. And I'm soon there. Anyway, um, also being graceful is another thing that I think us women should find important uh, because we should treat people with kindness. We should have a smoothness about us, um, including when we speak. We are not, elegant women are not going around swearing, talking loud, gossiping about others. That's not how we carry ourselves. Plus, that's very distasteful. We should respect others' opinions, um, accept the others the way that they are, because at the end of the day, we're all different. And the fact that we are all different is bomb. Because if we were all the same, this world would be extremely boring. Uh, and by respecting others, and respecting their opinions, their feelings, whatever the case may be, that will help you live a negativity and drama-free life. Negativity-free and drama-free zone over here. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be dwelling on people's drama. Live and let live, for my personal opinion. And the next thing that brings me to is something I call positive envy. If you see another woman succeeding in life, we're not jealous of her. We're happy for her. We use that as positive envy, as 
wow, if she can do that, if she can achieve that, so can I. Use it as motivation, as a boost for energy, as a, oh, wow, I'm going to go and try and do this because it's possible. I'm possible. Like the phrase, right? So classy women, we're, we're not jealous of each other. We give that woman props. Uh, compliment her because that is a positive thing and like I said that's what I call it positive envy if she can do it so can you which brings me into the next point which is self-improvement uh, we should take the time to be focused on this if you want to achieve things in life uh, you got to make plans and without planning you don't get things done at least I don't I literally every night tell myself tomorrow I want to do X, Y, Z. And I think X is going to be first, Y next, and Z next because this, that, and the other. Planning out your day the day prior or earlier helps you do things with purpose and intent, which I, that has facilitated so much of my life. Because if I think it through and I have a plan, I'm doing things with a purpose. And uh, write down your goals. Be independent. Uh, have plans for the future. Even if it's simple stuff like I want to do all my laundry next week. Or I want to rearrange my room. Or if it's bigger deal things like I want to have my own business or start a YouTube channel like me. Uh, or I want to travel whatever but plan for it because if you plan for it education and learning should be important to you because being knowledgeable will get you places it will get your foot in the door uh, and i'm not talking about college and university i'm talking about gaining general knowledge in whatever interests you it might be technology psychology uh cooking classes uh, things that Maybe our hobbies, uh, anything like that, uh, it'll get you places. So having general knowledge about things that, that interest you is, is important. Um, and then not everything is work, work, work. You do have to give yourself time to relax, pamper yourself, take a bubble bath, whatever it is that you enjoy, uh, because uh, you can't just work, eat, go to sleep, wake up, work, eat, go to sleep. You have to have some kind of fun, some kind of motivation to to do other things on your free time. And um, you got to relax, pamper yourself. We got to enjoy this gift called life because you only get one life. Um, and if you waste it and do nothing with it, well, then you die and... You have nothing to show for in your life. Um, and then the last uh, thing I want to talk about is being loyal, trustworthy, and being honest. And I want to start with honesty. Uh, you should be able to tell anyone in your life, no, I don't like this. No, I don't want this. It makes me feel some type of way. It makes me feel X, Y, Z. You should be able to have the ability to tell somebody when you're unhappy about something. Don't be a people pleaser. Don't let people walk all over you. You got to speak up for yourself. Have a backbone. Um, and then when it comes to family, uh, you should always be there for your family because family is first. Always. Be there for them when they need it the most, not when it's just convenient for you because then just don't do anything. Don't do anything because help is when it's needed, not when it's convenient for you or when you want to do it. Um, and then being loyal also, don't gossip about people. Don't gossip about your friends. Don't trash talk people. That's, that's not very classy. It's very distasteful. Uh, but anyway, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I want to say about this whole topic. Uh, please give me a like, leave me a comment, 
uh, if you have any suggestions, if you think anything should have been added to this, or if you disagree with something, uh, let me know and uh, subscribe. <laughs> Alrighty, have a good one. Thank you. And while I was filming that video, these two have been next to me sleeping the entire time. Vader. Vader.